Hello, this is Dr. Sonali Jagati, Senior Resident of Sankaini Department at SCB Medical College Hospital, Qatar, having secured an All India rank of 3546 in NEET PG 2021. So today I'm back with an exciting episode about sling surgeries. So let's dive deep into this fascinating and really uh, interesting talking about sling surgeries. This has been frequently asked as a long question in, for the postgraduates in a, a case about the Nulli Paris prolapse as well as for the uh, NEET and the INICT aspirants it's important for you guys to know the names of the surgery. Before I go into what are the surgeries let's just understand what is the criteria why do we have to whom should we first of all offer sling surgeries. Now these are offered to young female who desire fertility and who have second or third degree of utero cervical prolapse. Now these should not be preferably associated with any cystocele or rectocele. If there is any uh, large cystocele or rectocele, these have to be first treated vaginally and then the abdominal sling surgery has to be performed. Also, if there is any infection or suspicious of malignancy kind of lesion present on the cervix, then that has to be uh, not, uh, that patient should not be taken up for sling surgery. So, uh, in a nutshell, remember any young female with prolapse has to be offered sling surgeries. Now, uh, to understand sling surgery, it is important to know what are the types, the names and under what category we are dividing them. So uh, we will be basically learning about six sling surgeries which are present. Now some are of only theoretical interest now and few of them are practically done even today. So uh, before knowing the names you should remember that under what categories we uh, divide them. So every sling surgery is uh, divided or it is it has some characteristic features first thing is whether it is static or dynamic I'll explain to you what it means first know the broad heading first first it is static or dynamic second it is open or closed third it is anterior or posterior so in these three headings we are going to read about every type of sling surgeries okay so what do you mean by static? Static means we are going to attach the uh, sling to a hard or the fixed structure. So it may be a bony structure like anterior superior iliac spine or sacrum. So that means it is static. Dynamic means we are going to attach it to a structure which is mobile. For example, rectus sheath, rectus muscle. So these are dynamic slings. What do you mean by open or closed? Open means the uh, loop is not formed. It, the, it's not a closed uh, sling which we have put on both the sides and closed it. So if it is from both the sides and coming and uh, fixing then it's a closed loop or else it is open. Anterior means it is attached to anterior structure. Posterior means it's attached something to the posterior structure. If it is rectus sheath or rectus abdominal muscle, it's anterior. If it's sacrum, it is posterior. Remember that when we are attaching something anteriorly, like for example, we are attaching it to the um, rectus muscle. So it gives a traction anteriorly. So it makes the uh, uterus fall posteriorly. Okay. So if it falls posteriorly, it causes retroversion of the uterus. So under these, I'll come to the technical details of each of them when I talk about each sling. But now I hope you understood what are the broad headings. First, let's learn about the Schrodinger sling. Now Schrodinger sling is where we are attaching, now this is the isthmus of the cervix. From here, we are going to take the slings and we are going to attach it to the sacrum. Now sacrum is a bony structure. If we attach it directly to the sacrum, it will cause periosteitis. So we are going to attach to a ligament in, right in front of it that is called the anterior longitudinal ligament. Remember that it is attached slightly on the right side than on the left. Why it is attached on the right side? Because it is easy to access there and also 
the sigmoid colon uh, colon is present on the left side and there is increased risk of bowel obstruction because of which we prefer to attach it to uh, the right side of the anterior longitudinal ligament so uh, with this you can see that it is a static uh, static sling closed sling and posterior sling okay so this is your shirotka sling now what can it what can the drawback be for, uh, regarding shirotka sling it is actually the most anatomically uh, correct type of sling that we have but the drawback is that it is technically very difficult to perform also the, it's a closed loop so any closed sling remember by dictum any closed sling surgery has a risk of bowel obstruction so these are the disadvantages of shirotkar and because of the technical difficult, uh, difficulty we do not perform it usually although anatomically it's the best sling surgery next is the purandar now this is the most common commonly performed sling surgery which you will be seeing given in your uh, post graduate days or uh, any in the clinics okay so here we use a mercilet tape okay then this what happened so now this is your cervix the isthmus of your cervix now the slings are attached to the rectus sheath or the anterior uh, aspect of the rectus muscle okay so this is a kind of dynamic sling this is attached anteriorly so it's an anterior sling and it is a closed loop so closed sling now what can it uh, so it's very technically easy to perform and that is why purandar is done very commonly secondly uh, what are its disadvantages now as i told when it's pulling something anteriorly the uterus falls uh, backwards so it causes retroversion of the uterus when it causes retroversion of the uterus this again can be a hindrance in case of fertility for the female now sling surgeries are basically being offered to the young female to restore her fertility now when you are causing retroversion of the uterus it again can be a problem in causing uh, fertility for the female also there is chance of endocel formation there can also uh, because of this uh, retroversion and there is uh, also there is endocel formation one more point to be noted is that when we are attaching the sling to the isthmus now this isthmus forms the lower uterine segment at the pregnancy so when you are going to perform a cesarean section obviously you are going to offer only a cesarean section to a female who has undergone sling surgery because we don't want her to strain and uh, put pressure during the labor and then the uh, tape just tears off okay so during her cesarean section when you are attaching the sling to the isthmus which later forms the lower uterine segment where you are going to give an incision uh, at the lscs this will cause damage to the sling so this is again a drawback of uh, anterior sling so uh, what uh, modification was done later to this purandar sling was since it was causing the uterus to undergo retroversion they uh, have introduced something called as round ligament plication now in round ligament plication you are basically going to cut short the round ligaments okay so what it does when the round ligaments are attached to the uterus uh, it causes uh, you know uh, the uterus to come anteriorly so it is preventing the retroversion of the uterus so one thing that you can remember is that there is something called as a modification of it this round ligament plication this is something additionally which can be done with purandar okay you should remember that we use mercilin tape of uh, also rectus sheath can be used as a sling along with mercilin tape the disadvantage one more is that once since we are attaching it to rectus muscle with age if her rectus muscle also starts becoming weak the sling will also become weak so this has to be uh, obviously counseled to the patient when you are doing any the uh, type of uh, purandar sling surgery now next is a vircode now in vircode uh, uh, sling surgery what is basically done it combines the advantages of both shirotkar and purandar so uh, right side 
the sling is attached posteriorly that is to the sacrum the anterior longitudinal ligament and anteriorly it is attached to the rectus uh, rectu sheath that is on the left side so right side posterior sling left side anterior sling so if you can see this is a open loop so it's an open sling it's static plus dynamic so this is your static component this is your dynamic component and it is a open type of sling with both anterior and posterior sling so virkut is a very good surgery where you are able to combine the advantages of both shirotkar and uh, purandari okay uh, next is the khanna sling now khanna sling what is done is uh, the from the isthmus of the cervix it, the slings are attached to the anterior superior iliac spine the advantage again it's a static sling but the disadvantage is that it is going to uh, since the anterior superior iliac spine is a very superficial structure it's a superficial bony structure which we can feel on ourselves also it will cause skin irritation and it can cause periosteitis next is the sunawala the sunawala and joshi obviously they are not at all done nowadays but uh, we have to note from the theoretical point of view so both are static slings sunawala is only a unilateral uh, sling which is given on the right side posterior okay so it's a right side posterior unilateral sling it's a kind of since it's a unilateral so it's obviously an open sling and it's a posterior kind of sling whereas in joshi sling we attach it to the pectineal ligament again it's a static sling which is closed and it is anterior okay pectineal ligament so obviously it's an anterior sling so these these are uh, the uh, six types of sling surgeries and i hope in a nutshell you have understood the most important characteristics of each and every kind of sling surgeries uh, to know more about the surgeries i uh, would definitely recommend you to uh, go and just browse and see uh, great surgeons have uh, obviously uploaded the videos on youtube and other uh, social media handles you should go and watch it to understand it and uh, for writing the answers these are the important points that you have to mention whether it's in viva or theory you have to write these points so, uh, and if any other doubt you can feel free to write in the comment section or dm me on my uh, facebook messenger or telegram handle i'll be glad to clarify thank you and have a great day ahead